John Miglosh for the WDMA and the International Society for Strategic Marketing. A little bit of housekeeping. I'll be in Boston next week with the NAMOA conference. And if you're going to be there, let's have a beer at the Wednesday night cocktail party sponsored by Wisconsin's own Quad Graphics. And we can talk about direct marketing, which is what I want to talk about today. I went and spent most of the week looking for more direct marketing articles that I could examine. And I found actually a couple with a definition in it. So today I'm going to use the one from Epsilon, who are wonderful people, and we bid against them back in about 20 years ago for the Prime Media account, but the spec was so bad I declined to bid and Prime Media went under, so I hope that didn't hurt too badly Epsilon. <laughs> But I've always admired them, and I thought it was ironic that the two of us should be on the same bid. But they're wonderful people. And, but I took this from their Consumer's Guide to Direct Marketing, which I'm not going to hold them to. But let's look at the definition, because it does illustrate some of the issues that I find in these definitions. So, direct marketing is the practice of marketing products or services directly to consumers. It's a more personalized approach than traditional mass marketing, mass media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it goes on. Okay, so what's the problem? Well, the first problem is mass media is no longer mass nearly as much as it used to be. You can put your, even in the day, you could have Hispanic, you know, Spanish commercials and English commercials. You could market to different demographic groups. You could put uh, local ads on the Super Bowl if you wanted to. Uh, it's just easy to do uh, one commercial and blast it all over, but that doesn't mean it's the only way that you can do mass media. And Clearly, there were, there were many, many, many companies that were mass media advertisers who were also practicing direct marketing. So this is clearly not the essence of direct marketing. And what the heck is that? Before I go on, though, I just want to say that when I wrote my original work on the definition of direct marketing, one of the reviewers said, this guy obviously doesn't know anything about direct marketing. So I just wanted to say, <laughs> you probably don't know this, but Successful Direct Marketing Methods by Bob Stone and edited by Ron Jacobs. And this is about the 7th or 8th edition. And Bob sent me a nice letter. It wasn't just that I read it, although I did read it, quite a bit of it. <laughs> Can't say I read it all. But there's a nice letter in there from Bob thanking me for my contribution to Chapters 3 and 19, I believe. And it's signed by Bob, or he thanks me again. I'm Ron Jacobs. Ron said, <laughs> Ron, they didn't use as much of it as I would have liked. Uh, I said, Ron, why didn't, you, why didn't you use it? And they said, although I'm still in the acknowledgments, if you look in there. Uh, they, Ron said, well, it isn't because it wasn't true. <laughs> he said, this is a textbook. We can't just say that, you know, the academics are completely wrong, <laughs> which is kind of what I did. I admit it. Okay, so. What's my definition? I decided to put one down just for hoots and giggles. I would actually give you a definition. And I wrote this about five minutes ago. A heuristic marketing testing system which uses segmentation and response to progressively learn and improve. By segmentation, we could mean A, B splits, or we could mean regional variations or all kinds of things. It could mean anything you want, right? <laughs> okay, so we change some stuff and we find out what's going on. Direct marketing is testy. Direct marketing is a system of learning. As Vic Hunter taught me, we always test something, okay? Every time you launch something to the consumer, if you structure it right, you're going to learn something. If you structure it wrong, you're not going to learn anything. Nah, you're going to learn a little bit. But you can't, it's not valid. It's just not valid. And we'll get into that stuff more and more and more. But I just wanted to say that this is why there are basically no articles after 2014. No one's writing on direct marketing. No one's talking about direct marketing because they don't understand it. They don't understand the power of it. I highly suggest you go to WDMA.org and read the article on how direct marketing swung the election. I verified that it's true. It's the most powerful thing you can have in your marketing arsenal. And yet no one knows what it's about. I'm John Miglosh for the WDMA and the International Society for Strategic Marketing.